Face Fusion is ready to go with its default settings with most basic videos, and usually does not need much in the way of tweaking the settings. With that in mind, first bring in the video or image you want to alter by either clicking on the target box, finding your video and uploading it, or go the easier route and just drag and drop your video onto that box. You should see both the target and the preview box populate with the video or image you just uploaded. Next, do the same thing with the source box for the image of the person you want their face to be used to face swap onto the original video or image. If your target video has a face in the first frame, you should already see a change to the image in the preview box. If your target video or image has more than one face, be sure to click on the reference face of the face you want to have swapped. At this point, you could render out your video and be finished. But there's one final option that will drastically change the quality of your output, and that's whether or not you turn on Face Enhancer. Leave it off if you want to do a quick test to see if the output is working well. But when you want a clean output with better resolution on the face, turn Face Enhancer on. But make sure you didn't choose the Frame Enhancer. Now, just go down below and hit the Start button. Once the output box populates, you can tap the little download button in the top right of it to download your output to your computer and enjoy the results. Again, these are the basic settings and should get you pretty far, but feel free to check out some of my other videos about Face Fusion to dig even deeper.